I gave the government uh, three messages. The first one was that the speed of which we can build wind farms is critical to solving our energy security as well as uh, uh, our getting away from the reliance on oil and gas. And so therefore it's critical. Second one I gave them is you should look at both onshore and offshore as the mechanism to do that. Onshore you've got the speed, offshore you've got the scale, but they both use slightly different supply chains of which both exist in the UK. And then the third message was we need to stop having a stop start on auction processes because that slows down the investment in supply chain. In fact, the supply chain gets empty and this boomer bust is, we must avoid. And we don't need to have it. We've now got the price levels where we can go build and so the supply chain can thrive. So the supply chain today is subject to an auction process where we get a stop start regime. And what we need is a continuous flow. The best thing you need to create jobs and to create efficiencies and to, is for work to flow. So therefore the regulatory framework needs to be adapted to what we need is a regular output of wind farms. Now the other good thing is we should have onshore and offshore supply chain. An onshore supply chain exists today. It's very much like other infrastructure projects where it's construction, where it's logistics, things we're very good at in the UK. And then you've got the scale of offshore where we can develop new facilities and new factories. So actually if the government take on board that both technologies have a supply chain that can grow independently but together, then everybody benefits.